Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'll be going through my favorite effects available on the Sapphire plugin. If you don't already know, Sapphire is this plugin that's really popular. It is that plugin that every VFX artist uses for wiggle sakes, even like distortion sensor. It got a lot of effects. So for beginners, it's really hard to like see what's going on and which effects are the best. So yeah, this will be an interesting one. So grab some snacks and let's just get into it. You can see we in After Effects are Again. and i have this all of these clips aligned to like test those fx big shout out to my guy ed because he's the one who saw this and let me use this footage right here firstly i'll be going over blur mccoy because this is really like an underrated effect from sapphire it is found on i guess in the adjust or some shit like that not even adjust where is it oh uh, let me just search it up not gonna lie blur mccoy oh it's on blur and sarpen but as the name says it is blur mccoy but it's not like a blur tool it is actually a transform that you get on after effects like transform right here but a way better version of it it is really smooth so you can see we have values like g dust which just controls the zoom zoom in and out basically shift x and shift y just like the positions and we even got the shutter speed like the duration and stuff to control the motion blur we even get a brightness right here so you ain't gotta like add like exposure for flashes and shit and we also got the rotate right here that's pretty cool but yeah in here you can animate all of these values of course like zoom it in and now you, if you easy use it and just like add a graph in here just like this you can see we get the smooth zoom right here which looks way better than the transform zoom so if i add like a transform in here and compare it side by side real quick so let me just make it right here it can't even zoom bro like are you serious Yes, man what the hell but yeah let's just use the scale one for example before going more into the video i just want to let you guys know about the best preset pack out right now which is called essential fx and transition bundle it includes the v1 and the v2 together and if you don't already know i dropped these packs few months ago and it has been absolutely blowing in the underground like every single other underground music video it uses it it can be used on other projects as well if you are like anime editor or like even like car edits and stuff so it is absolutely packed with sauce it comes with 80 plus presets and i'm being for real when i say this i went 80 out of 80 so every single preset hits hard so yeah if you want to download it i'll link in the description as i said best pack out right now so make sure you don't miss out on it but let's just get back into the tutorial maybe i'm gonna just like duplicate this and use the scale knob and making the literally the same graph right here and now we can see this is the this is the normal scale animation with almost the same graph wait let me just make it a little tighter because i think it's a little tighter on the other side but now if we play through you can see our first scale animation that we did from default after effects looks really not smooth and looks choppy but if we play through another one which we did from blur more curves you can see it looks seamless bro you can't even notice that shit like it looks that smooth so that's why i love blur more curves it's a cut so i recommend everybody using blur more cuts instead of the scale value or anything like that because it is way better bro and if you don't already know in my essential fx bundle we actually got a lot of zoom and animations and stuff so if we are v2 the most useful one in v2 you can see we already have that animation in there so all this process is like automated so yeah that's what i love about like essential fx like it comes with 80 plus fx like these completely dedicated for music video can be used for car edits and all that anime type of edit as well but it is completely dope saves a lot of time so if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description in here we even have something like a zoom in smooth like it zooms into the character right here even i'll zoom in and out like that so yeah it saves a lot of time but moving on my second best uh sapphire effect i'll add a adjustment layer for this and my second best will be verb bubble probably this is a really underrated one again 
it is like this like turbulence displacement kind of effect but again it is way better than turbulence displacement it basically does the same thing but in a really smooth way so we got frequencies all those values to control but what i like to do with this is make some wiggle animation so animating the frequency right here even the amplitude just like going down to zero right here as you can see and in these i'm gonna add a uh, this graph in like the frequency so it looks smooth and the best thing about it is you can go with the speed and add a time 50 type of expression in here and what it'll do is make a wiggle effect right here so yeah it is really dope to create these type of like wiggle effects and stuff really comes in clutch for real this is a really bad example of what it can do it got a lot more potential so take your time with it and create some like dope effect using sapphire bubble because bro like in essential effects if you take a look we got a lot of like masterpieces type of like wiggle right here if i show you like a simbest this is a masterpiece right here so yeah you can create stuff like these like really easily using the white bubble warp bubble actually so yeah you can create stuff like these like really easily using the warp bubble not easily but it will take time but it will like turn out really dope instead of using a turbulent displacement i even got some really smooth one in essential effects hard wiggle too you can see really smooth wiggles even some distortions that you can check out so yeah it is all powered by sapphire and it saves a lot of time you know so you don't have to like play with every single value in sapphire and keyframe those but again moving on my another favorite effect will be random time edits if you don't already know this is one of those effects that is used on like this effect can be used when the snare goes like rapidly like back to back you know like the gun sound effect so yeah this looks really cool and you can combine it with something like rsmb to get some motion blur in there which will look even even harder as you can see and yeah i use this on every single music video of mine it looks completely dope you can even like play with the values and stuff to make it faster or even slower if you like but yeah that's it with this one moving on you can even try something like a sapphire jitter it is kind of similar but it has these type of like jitter type of effect that you see a lot on like these two hollis and even like osama shun type of video you can see these like jitter type of effect combine it with something like a sapphire flicker and it will turn out a complete banger just like bring it up and just use it on like small cuts right here you can see that creates a dope transition as well so yeah this looks real dope and moving on as i used before sapphire flicker is a really dope one to add flicker flicker is essential on like you see it on every single music video that has vfx nowadays will use sapphire flicker because it is really dope like you can you can easily like keyframe these amounts and even make like transition and stuff using the flicker so you can see so yeah sapphire flicker is a really like a basic and a really dope one that you can try out and another underrated effect i like to go through i see a lot of people not using it i don't know why but it is called like stretch frame edge what it does is like stretches the frame edge or the middle to create this like distortion type of effect it can be really useful for transitions so let me show you a quick transition with it so i'm setting the squeeze to one firstly and where the cut is i'm gonna just lower it down so it like stretches up and goes back in and just like make it one again and then now you easy easier and go into the graph and just make a tight graph in here something like and now if you play through you can see we have the simple stretch transition you can of course go ahead and make it more smoother add more effects like distortion and stuff and make it look super dope but i'm just like showing the possibilities right here and the idea basically one more thing i like to combine with this is sapphire distort chroma if you don't know distort chroma like this effect in itself is literally goated like what it does it add this type of like liquid type of like distortion in your videos if i lower down the amount you can see so yeah it, it got a lot of possibilities and you can combine with any effect so let me just combine 
combine it with this one by lowering down the amount and just like animate that animate it as well like that so yeah now you can see we got the distortion with the color distortion as well and in top of it you can add something like a sapphire glow i don't really recommend sapphire glow that much because it is not that great comparing to something like something like a deep glow or your optical glow but it does the job if you don't have like deep glow or optical glow but yeah there's that uh using this effect i have a really dope preset on my ssl effect called chroma 3 i guess is it chroma 3 or chroma 1 i guess chroma 1 yep if i align these keyframes and put it on a better clip right here i guess and so you guys you can see it is like a distortion stretch kind of effect using the sapphire distort chroma and the stretch frame looks really dope so yeah the possibilities are endless literally now moving on my another best favorite effect will be sapphire sake this is this is one of those effect which is used everywhere like for six it is literally goaded so in here you can turn on the motion blur bring up the sick frequencies everything is really smooth you can keep him the sick like this and create some really dope sick right there even add some like smooth graphics graphs and shit in here if I show you like that so yeah the possibilities are endless again like we can even control the x the y and the z positioning so if i want wanted to like fake on the horizontal way i can easily do that right there or the completely opposite like if i bring up the y it will only like sake in the so yeah that's how we create sakes using sapphire in my pack i even have some like sake presets that you can try out which is really cool and smooth as you can see now again moving on i really love sapphire warp portal i guess yep warp portal right here what is does it it is basically like those raindrop type of effect right here so if you play that it creates like that type of portal type of effect you can always like keyframe these and get a really dope result out of it like you can easily keyframe it like all those other effects let me just do it real quick right here and you can see we got this super smooth portal animation and you can see we got this portal animation right here it is not the best but you can go ahead and mess around with speed the even the phase even the frequencies so yeah literally do your thing bro just like go crazy using all these effects the possibilities are endless as i showed now lastly before i end this video off i like to showcase you a really cool effect really underrated one actually which is called time slice sapphire time slice right after we add Add this effect as the name says we literally get the time slice effect right here slices the time as you can see into these boxes and it looks really smooth like this is one of those like trending effects right now that everybody is using it on the underground if you haven't seen like it even helps to create like transition between two clips so if you want to transition between these it will go like that in here you can even turn on something like interrupt frame so it will smooth out everything and you want to even see those bars and it looks really smooth as you can see bring up the numbers do it as you like you can even make it a little more smoother by using something like rsmb on top of it but yeah again the possibilities are endless like go crazy again but yeah i think that's a wrap right there so if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this check out essential effects if you wanna save time while you're editing but i'ma see you on the next one Peace.